Here at KHU 11, we are celebrating Hispanic heritage. And today we talk to one of the nation's up and coming Hispanic leaders. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo is in charge of one of the country's largest counties, Harris County, and is the first Latina to ever hold the job. Our Marcelina Benito is back. He sat down with her to talk about her life story and how it shaped her time as Harris County Judge. No, it doesn't matter where you were born. <laughs> Judge Lena Hidalgo's journey to election night 2018 began miles away from Houston in Bogota, Colombia, where she was born in the midst of a bloody drug war. A bomb actually went off just a few blocks from our house and the windows in the living room shattered. And at that point, my parents said, you know, we need to find something else. Her family moved to Peru, spent several years there before later moving to Mexico. Growing up in Latin America, I had seen government as something to avoid, you know, a source of corruption, a source of danger, really. By the age of 14, her family moved to the U.S. Her eyes opened to a new reality. It wasn't until I came here that I saw government as something positive. Hidalgo would go on to graduate from Seven Lakes High School in Katy. She'd go to college, travel the world, political office not on her radar until President Trump's election in 2016. I ran in part because of the attacks, not just on the Hispanic community, but on unity itself. She set her sights on the office of Harris County Judge, challenging popular longtime incumbent Ed Emmett, and she won. I, Lena Hidalgo. Her win, historic, at 27 years old, becoming Harris County's first female and Hispanic county judge. That brought its own set of challenges and critics who questioned if she was ready. It's different, I think, when you're a man and perhaps not a minority. And we all know that. When it's a man, it's sort of enterprising. When it's a woman, it's sort of, you know, bless her heart. Now, nearly three years into the job, she's led the county through disaster after disaster, from petrochemical explosions and fires to major storms, and now a life-changing pandemic. We've had pandemic on top of hurricane. We've had pandemic on top of, on top of winter storm, and we're going. That's what we do. It's amazing. She's been the face and voice Harris County listens to mid crisis for the first time, consistently offering remarks in English and Spanish. But they really feel like I'm speaking directly to them. What her position means to the Hispanic community, impossible to ignore. It's not lost on me, though, the significance of having, you know, a face that you don't normally see. When I have a young person come up to me and tell me, hey, I'm running for this or that, and it's happened already, but then they say I'm doing it because I didn't know it was possible until I saw you in that position. She says her Hispanic heritage and diverse background makes her a stronger leader, able to bring different perspectives and approaches to decisions that affect us all. I am from the community I'm from, and I'm proud of that, and I hope I'm setting an example. But ultimately, whatever I do, I represent all communities. I asked Judge Hidalgo about future political aspirations, and she told me she's not closing the door on anything. But for now, her focus remains on re-election and earning a second term as Harris County Judge. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News. And you can read more about Judge Hidalgo on KHOU.com under the Our Story, Our History tab. Once there, you can also learn more about Hispanic heritage and culture celebrated this month and throughout the year. Texas fans.